Hello, welcome back to the road to 56 as the Celtic Republic. Yeah, Casablanca has just about fallen to England. How are they doing on the supply front? Great, not terrible though. I'll just ash. We've started building marines, but they're not going to be be ready in time for Africa. Tripoli has almost fallen. Oh, make that hands fallen. And there's just this one little tile here, just to the east of Tobruk. Well, not much I can really do there. So I am going to direct my marines when they're ready at Shetland. We are going to liberate it from the Italians and Germans. If our guard could become it when the officer corps has already have a screen special. It's bad now. Like currently. Ah yes, capital ship screens do better. What capital ships do I even have? Let's see if there's a quick this. Funnily enough, I have a hundred percent intel over myself. So ten heavy cruisers, three battleships. Those are yeah. Those are all um. Yeah, those are. Our captain ships we all have, that's okay. And a lot of screens too. It's because I wasn't I'd actually paused the recording, so um ah. basically we're short of infantry equipment because I decided to buff the Marines up to a twenty uh twenty width division. These are basically Going to be fairly chunky, and we'll be able to push it push in more than most. We'll also, start getting our new getting some new fighters for Brittany. Fighters slash bombers. We basically we basically finally have air superiority over the English Channel and Western France. They have nothing. Oh, Sweden wants to lend us uh, some guns. That's okay. Ah, we can upgrade our medium flame tanks. Lens grill. I should go up on the bear. That makes no difference, but I'm not sure of those. Now, basic self propelled anti basic medium. Extra heart attack. No, I probably should start looking at upgrading these now I think about it. Let's see. We can't anything here for that. Ooh, rocket launch. Okay. Proved anti air. This will be. Improved medium cannon. I said improved anti air gun. Center anti air. Let's see now. Buff up the engine a little bit. I know it's currently attached, they're currently attached to the um, infantry, but I might want to change that to a Cavalry at some point. As far as I can get this, there's. Oh. Remove this because the extra machine guns don't really do a lot for this. Now. 
go and we can just. No, I'm not upgrading the Highland Grill. But... So I can probably start scaling them back a bit now for. Group all the old fogies together. Now that is what I want to see. We lost five English naval bombers. Take out one battle cruiser. Nice now. So, HMS Dorsetshire, one of our cruisers. Which I, I'm not sure what type of cruiser that is. Sorry, yeah. Ah, yes, an old pre war Count S Mark III. Heavy cruiser took her out. I am perfectly fine with that. Well, since I. Because of this, um, where was it? Where was it? Yeah, I get a few extra research cost reductions for our special forces doctrines. Now, I could go with Marine Commandos, who are a different type of unit that will be able to hit and run on the coast. But I'm going to go Expeditionary units because it means we can just get on shore better and hold the terrain better. Basically, the paths that the paths you go with there are either hit and run, or actually assault and clear away for the rest of the rest of the military. Oh, those Stukas are scratching your paint job, Valiant. Move this um back up to Lo Lothian here. A few of them do need some repairs, so I'll probably stop in and do that once they've got there. Oh yes, yeah, some of them are very badly scratched. Old destroyers. They're very short of steel again. Oh, I can now sign a policy to the North British Locomotive Company, which is our armor and train production. Let's see now. Uh, they'd be cheaper but less reliable and. Mm. Thanks for liability, wouldn't be bad. For tanks in particular, it's very important. It means I do need to upgrade these with. Oh, yes, extra. Let's see, so slap on some extra armor. Basically, reliability means nothing above 100%. It's basically capped at that level. Not sure reliability really makes any difference for austerity trains, but they're less likely to just blow in our face if something goes when something goes wrong. Again, reliability here. Petrol electric engine. Uses less fuel. Less reliable. Well, if I'm only using this with them. Um, Flame tanks, it doesn't really make any difference. The extra breakthrough and defense might be handy. Rommel needs an upgrade as well. This will probably be my medium tank at some point. I develop arm visions.
that requires chromium. But I'm a long way from actually using the assembly lines for them at the moment. Do a little bit of um mystical bombing here. Just troll the Germans a little bit with because these fighters actually have rocket rails. So they can't they can't do naval bombing, but they can do ground attack. Oh I actually lost some planes to anti-air. Maybe not then. You have air superiority. Another race pilot for Eagle. Let's see, can I assign him here? Yes. Yeah, air speeds, air attack, air agility. Wait, the Marines a little early so I can train them up a bit quicker. I think it works. These do I want to go with? Probably this guy because he's a bit of a blank slate and he'll gain experience much quicker. So, uh, if I was doing, um, If I was doing paratroopers, I'd use this guy. I'd use this guy, Roy or Urquhart. Welcome on that. Go with this guy, and just train up until you level. So we are now very short of guns again. Well, I do have factories coming for. Yeah, I'm not sure it does extra fleet coordination. Hey, baby. Big guns for big ships. Four triple turrets, two forward and two aft. Not sure what that's a reference to. Feels like it is one. The biggest battleship. Why imitate the other Paris battleships and build an even bigger one? I do like this because it means, it means our planes will be even more reliable than it's likely to crash and explode on takeoff. I don't know what difference that really makes, but there you have it. Today's mean managed to do absolutely nothing it's there. Talk about a curb stop. I am perfectly okay. End up a little bit both levels. One thing the mod does is spread the training levels around a bit. So it isn't just green uh, trained and better and regular. Whatever. Not the race pilot. Let's get one. Oh, let's see what this battle is. Crown Horst against some of our. What was it? HMS Nelson, Norfolk Duck. Well, she managed to put up a, a little bit of a fight. 
But yeah, I think we're actually winning the naval game here. No torch and corkscrew. Perfect combination of naval, air, and specialized land force can render any object securable. As far as I know, that was a um, tactic that the US Marines used in the Pacific campaign. The blowtorch being a flamethrower and the corkscrew being several VARs or other automatic rifles to lay down covering fire. While the flamethrower guy r rushed up and attacked. Assaulted the place. Nice. I need... Yeah, he was running our networks here. Most got caught, so that's back. Yeah, but I'm gonna have some of our convoy raiders actually hit the eastern North Sea. We're not actually. I don't think they even have the base for it yet. The Soviets have actually managed to stabilize this area. I was gaining a. I'm not sure that the um, networks in Italy are really worth this now. Well, it's helping our allies at least. He has just declared war on Vichy France. Were they the same faction? Well, we're at war with either side, so let them fight. Vichy France has capitulated. Which means we now have some isolated pockets of free France on the continent. Nice in particular, which, yeah, they're not sure they're going to really get to manage that. Hmm. I'm starting to think that after I get, um, after I get the Shetlands back for Denmark, or Norway. That's all right to see. Them losing ships and us not losing any. Okay, we're now at war with. Monaco. Hmm. Too long. No, yeah, here's a particularly stupid idea, but perhaps for my next playthrough, I should try playing as Andorra, which this mod does add. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Okay, let's just get let's get this naval invasion a try, shall we? Not fully trained, but we need to move at some point. Probably outnumber whatever units they have on on work. And we've got a nice big navy sitting nearby that can bomb the bomb the crap out of. Oh yeah, we are absolutely stomping them there. We've taken we've taken back the Shetlands. That was long, long, long overdue. Let's see, we've an unassigned ace. I'd say the extra agility would be helpful for if he's doing close air support for them. First Marine Division. 
first sons of the beach set there we go. So we can give them the I give up another mob that gives different medals for different countries, so we have here Frenchman speed and reduction damage reduction because enemy pass recovery rate and chance to capture equipment less experienced soldier losses. Probably stack. Recon defense. Mm. I can suck. Well, I think thematically this makes the most sense. Basically, first Marines led the way. This. To help. All right, boys, come on home. That went a lot easier than I expected. How much experience did he get from that? Hmm. A surprising amount, which, of course, this probably helped. Still, fair amount. Now train him up and get him ready. Let's see, what more with better tanks actually, but yeah, here are good enough for now. Better artillery, never have enough of that. So support artillery and anti-air will provide extra defense to our marines. Hmm. Well, I already have support artillery. Here's the hospital meeting. I want to give them like You only have three light tanks, so no. Anti air that increases. Our defense is currently 396, just shy of 400. That's a lot for soft attack because. We have sniper teams. You know what? Recon kind of makes more sense for halting a beach. At least figuring out what the end is up to. more forts up there that invaded again. Even that. We finally have a new I'm gonna call this mole after the one we previously lost. This will be attached to the Lot de Britain just to give them the extra firepower. Upgrade these two one matters. Season. Yes. Now I have empty top. Just waiting for things to get in and briefly. Still requires steel and chromium to upgrade them. It requires a lot. 
play this for a South Africa, could you lend me some? Yeah, this is one problem I have with this um, country so far. We are very short of our own resources and factories to start out with. We have a decent navy. We'll do. Some of these extra uh, destroyers took more investments. I have nothing else to really spend these, spend this army XP and air XP on. Well, with this, like, I don't need the extra stability and. I might just go with Ooh, that's supply consumption. He needs to do that ages ago. So mechanization and then modern logistics. Not even using this Mayo, just because some of our research doesn't allow. Not sure what artillery it's referring to there. But yes, please. So I'm just going to ignore Italy for now and instead focus on possibly Denmark or, or Wilhelmshaven. Something that would give it audacious. Audacious? Maybe. Our first naval invasion worked out. Well, we did out. We did outnumber them by quite a lot. Another race pirate. Anyway, I think. That so I am going to leave it there for now. I think what I'm going to start pushing towards is a naval invasion of the Netherlands and then pushing to Germany. That's going to happen in the, we'll try that in the next episode. Then, bye for now.